Let us understand how we can typecast to change the data type of extracted value to its original type. Many times we get the data in the form of strings. However, when we extract certain value from the string, we might want to typecast to its original type. That's where the typecasting comes into picture. In this case, I'm using current data as an example. The output is of type date or special type of string. We can actually use the split function, get the month part of it. So if I say split of current date comma hyphen like this, it will return an array. And if I say off one, it will get the second element from the array, which is nothing but 11. And you can see the output here. Now, the data type of this 11 is string because we extracted this value from the string. If you want to typecast it into integer because 11 can be represented as integer, this is how it will look like. You just have to say cast off split of current date comma hyphen of one and then you have to use this special keyword called as the as and you have to specify the data type whatever data type you want to convert to in this case it is int so cache takes one argument the expression and then as keyword then data type now if you run this the return value is of type integer you can also convert it into float however the output will be 11.0 and also keep that in mind that whatever value you are trying to typecast if it is not convertible it will just return null. So keep that in mind. Now you can actually run this to convert this string to float. Similarly, you can actually run this to convert this to integer. However, when it comes to integer with respect to this number, it is uh, zero. That's why it is returning zero. Now you can also try this. In this case, I am actually saying xyz as int. xyz cannot be converted to int and hence it returns null. You can see the output here. It will not throw any exception, it will just return null. Now let's see the usage of the cast function. Typically we get data from mainframes in the form of fixed length format. We can use substring to extract values from a particular character to a particular ca character for a given column. And then we might want to typecast it to original type. That's where the cast is typically used. In this case, I do not have fixed length records. I have comma delimited records of orders. I am creating a single column table out of that orders data set. And hence the column name is yes and data type is string. By default, with respect to the text file, the delimiter is ASCII null. However, our data contains comma and hence each and every column value will have our original order record with comma delimiter between all the values uh, we have in each and every record. Let me quickly create this table and then let me preview the data so that you understand what I'm talking about. If I take one record, the first one, there's only one column value here and the value contain the complete record with comma as delimiter. I can use split function to split the data like this. It has given all the four column values for each and every record. However, the data type of each of these values is nothing but string. So one is of type string, this one is also of type string, this one is also of type string, this one is also of type string. But the original types of order ID, order date and order customer ID are integer, timestamp and integer respectively. Order status is string. So we can explicitly typecast like this. Now on top of the split function for each and every column value, I'm using cast and then as I'm specifying the type it is supposed to be converted. Now I can run this and I should be able to see the output without any challenges. This is how cast is typically used. We don't use uh, with delimited data sets that often, but it can be leveraged if at all it is the case. Uh, with substring on top of fixed length records, we can use cast to typecast the values after the extraction to satisfy our requirements while loading data into the target tables within Spark Metastore.